So I got tired of bringing up bins and stuff into the attic uh, with the ladder. Uh, so I decided to go ahead and make an attic lift. And you got to start off by creating a hole. So I got the, uh, the framing done for the uh, motor up there. I went with uh, two by sixes for the main structural support frame. And I added a two by four next to that. And I uh, went ahead and put uh, some two by fouring framing in the uh, truss to give me a, a good support uh, to tie into to keep this thing uh, from moving at all. And you know, just cut a notch in there for that. The reason why I have a two by four is originally I centered the two by six in the hole thinking that the cable was going to be centered. Um, but in order to get the cable center, everything is offset because of the uh, garage door drums. And I'll show that uh, when I do that next. Okay, now I got the uh, garage door hardware all connected. It works better with some tension, so I put some 10 pound weights on there uh, until I uh, build the sled. Um, but you can see what I was talking about where you need that tangent uh, where the cable comes off of the tangent of the wheel. Uh, so that's why all your brackets are not centered, uh, but the cable is centered. So let's uh, check this out. Right now I just have it geared up so I'm at the very end uh, and it goes all the way down but when I finish the sled I'll have some cable on there so we're not just you know hanging from those uh, crimps. For the sled I went ahead and uh, decided not to do the cross beam across the top that you see in a lot of these. Uh, that allows me to uh, have a stack of bins higher than the sled and I can unload as I go and you can see just welded in the uh, clips there that we can tie into. Uh, I put springs on the bottom so that the bottom plate can fit up snug against the ceiling as uh, the sled goes up uh, past that limit just a little bit. Uh, so everything be nice, tight, and snug. So as I got it all put together, I decided to do some weight testing. So I started off with just 20 pounds and the sled and uh, slowly added more weights and uh, kept going. And I ended up with about 220 pounds uh, by the time I was finished. And it worked pretty good. So here's the finished product. As you can see, you got a tall stack of bins on there that you can bring up and unload them one at a time. Overall, I'm really impressed with how the system came together. It's been super handy ever since. Uh, I've used it several times. Uh, it's been about uh, six months since it's finished, and it's a very solid project.